Hey Virgos, what's up? Welcome to your November 2019 general reading. This reading will apply to Virgo sun, moon, and rising sign. If you don't know your moon and rising sign, there's a link down in my description. You can click on that, put your birthday in, and find out your moon and rising sign. I would also recommend after you uh, watch this video, you go watch your moon and rising sign um, just to get more clarity for the month of November and in case some of the messages here don't resonate. All right, Virgo, so what's up? Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you're new here, comment your birthday down in the comment section. Represent for Virgo gang. And let's see what November has in store for you. Now, before I start putting down the Rider Waite cards, um, I'm going to pull three cards here just to see the overall energy and... Um, lessons or messages that you need to hear for November. This is a deck that I made myself. It doesn't have a name or anything. And um, I don't own the images, but this is just something that I'm using to help with my readings or to add a little extra to my readings. So let's see what the cards have for you. So what is the overall energy for Virgos in November? What's the overall energy surrounding them? Feminine female energy getting in touch with your feminine side your intuition feeling way more intuitive this month than you normally do um this card does seem very virgo to me it seems like someone who definitely is very big about self-care um self-worth preserving yourself taking care of your body making sure that you feel great that you feel strong um, also being very much in touch with nature or feeling ultra sensitive and when I say sensitive I mean like you know feeling vibrations very very easily and you feel emotions you're very empathic and intuitive this month wow <laughs> at the bottom of the deck is masculine so feminine masculine so you are in tune right now you're feeling very leveled which is good let's see what else give me two more cards for Virgo Ooh, the couple very nice okay one more card one more card here please for Virgos one more card for Virgos okay destruction all right and then you have the teacher here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there are a lot of lessons that you're learning here when it comes to being in relationships, when it comes to handling disagreements, when it comes to moving on, moving forward. A lot of you may have separated from someone. Um, and I feel like you've done it because you felt it was what was best for you. Um, many of you are trying to heal yourself by keeping to yourself like I said before eating healthy just being very focused on yourself and not trying to focus on a partnership just yet you're being very like self-aware right now which is good um, if some of you are already in couples or in relationships I feel like you're taking more time to be on your own um, you're trying to avoid some type of disaster here too, which is why you kind of are separating yourself from the people around you because you need that time to really recenter. You need that time to meditate, to focus, to get back to your calm, loving self again, because there's, I feel like there's been a lot of pressure on you, especially when it comes to people around you, when it comes to relationships that you're in, expectations of others, that you really need that time to be alone and kind of meditate a little bit be a hermit <laughs> right be the true virgo that you are you know when you get a little overwhelmed you guys like to take some time to be alone be calm you're almost like gemini where we you know we can be alone and really enjoy that time of not having anyone around so here you're you're taking that time for self-care you're taking that time to chill recenter it's a very calm energy is what i'm getting from virgos yeah, again, like I said here, chill, recenter, be still for a bit. Okay. Very interesting, Virgo. So show me, what's the energy currently surrounding Virgo in November? Tell me more about the energies. What's going on for Virgos in their present moment? Present moment. 
Okay, the Knight of Cups. I did see the King of Cups. Many of you could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. doesn't have to be. But I feel like this person, you know, there's a lot of emotions in the month. Oh, wow. As I say, Scorpio. Scorpio's at the bottom of your deck. You have Scorpio here a lot, actually. Destruction is, is similar to the Tower card in traditional tarot, and that also represents Scorpio. But there are endings. Something has ended. A partnership has ended for many of you. And it doesn't, have, it doesn't seem to have broken you. I feel like you're still okay. And you're still trying to move forward and, and have this positive outlook on life and love, even if something in the past didn't work out. I feel like you've, you've come to some sort of acceptance that things, certain things had to end in your life and you're okay with that. Wow. Again, remember I said I saw the King of Cups. Now he wants to come out as well. You've matured a lot. You're on this path to maturing. Wow. Is that the, oh no, that's the masculine card. I thought that was a different card. You are on a path of maturity. You have this masculine feminine thing that keeps happening. So if you're not in a relationship, this could just talk about your masculine and feminine side. It could talk about the divine masculine, divine feminine. But there's this, this, this strong energy of like a couple here or two people, opposite sex. Destruction could also talk about the end of one phase and the beginning of something new. You have this very scorpion, um, and it could be the Scorpio season, actually, that's causing this transformation for you because it's almost like Scorpios are very known for, you know, always reinventing themselves, um, and they're the phoenix that rises from the ashes. So even when you see destruction, it doesn't mean that everything is completely destroyed. It just means that it's a form of evolution, and I see that here for you. Um, I was about to call you guys Scorpio. I see that here for you, Virgo. Scorpio season is going to be again a period of evolution for you big growth big changes right but it's positive and it has a lot to do with water i see water here a lot especially here in this feminine card you see she's sitting under the waterfall there's a lot of water energy here in your reading so it does have to do with emotions or feelings um intuition for sure show me one more card please yeah, you guys could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio. You guys have very similar cards here. So you, again, this is like that, that energy of being in the cocoon and emerging as like the butterfly. There's transformation here. There's evolution here for you in the month of November. So very positive. Let's see how this energy progresses. Universe, how does the energy progress for Virgos? Five of Wands. A little bit of conflict, a little bit of struggle, nothing that you can't overcome. Another five, okay, two five so far. Some of you, some of you, I feel like you you are struggling with the idea of this change that's happening to you because I, for some of you, you you don't really like the way the lesson was brought into your life. You don't like the way you had to learn. You know, Virgos don't like to be surprised. They don't like to be uh, put in a situation where they don't have an answer to or they don't have some type of control over. It's a very, it feels very out of your control and you don't like it. But as I said before, it's a test that's going to definitely make you grow. It's not going to hold you back or hurt you in any way. It's meant to push you forward, to make you evolve. Many of you don't like the process, is what I'm getting. You don't like the process. It feels tough in the beginning. Wow. Very cool card to see. But you guys are strong. Because you are very strong. You are very resilient. This is only going to strengthen you, this change. It's only going to make you better, tougher. The universe wants you to have patience, to be strong, even though this period feels like a struggle for you know that you can overcome it. You're meant to overcome it. It's a lesson, right? You have the teacher card here. It's a lesson for you. So let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome for Virgos. 
in the month of November. What's the outcome for Virgos? Overall outcome. Queen of Swords, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, the World card. Yes, we will take that. Okay, because as I said before, you guys are transforming. This is this card to me speaks about evolution. It speaks about growth. It speaks about graduation. You know, you guys are going to feel very powerful towards the end of November. And again, you have the feminine energy here with the Queen of Swords. Very powerful here. And now, there you go. Masculine energy. Remember I kept saying there's this, there's this feminine masculine thing that's happening with your reading. Okay, you guys are either dealing with your divine masculine. If you're a man, you're dealing with your divine feminine. But there's major transformation here. If you can see that. Or evolution between both sides. The masculine and the feminine side. The couple, the pair. There's so much duality in your reading, Virgos. So much. So for many of you... Either you're taking a, a big change and learning a huge lesson in a relationship, you're coming in tune with both of your sides, your masculine, your feminine side. Um, there's big change in evolution. You've met your divine masculine. Like there's just this energy of like a man and woman coming together. And if you're same sex couple watching this, you know, I'm not, it doesn't literally have to be like a man and woman. This could be just like the energies, like the. The vibes that you have, the more feminine side and the more masculine side coming together. But there's huge energy around that for you in the month of November. All right, Virgos. So I hope this reading was able to give you some clarity for the month of November. Um, if you want to do a private reading with me, the link to my website is down in my description. You can click on that. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.